welcome to my YouTube channel Spice It Up with Omadia and today I'll be showing you how to process your cassava that you need for fufu or the less smooth cassava so I'll be taking you through the process of making it so you can achieve this beautiful looking fufu so come with me let's do this now the first thing you'll be needing is your cassava which you have to peel like my husband is doing right now for me in the kitchen <laughs> such a good man so you peel the cassava first and wash then put in your container add bicarbonate of soda if you are outside africa because any cassava you process without bicarbonate uh, of soda outside africa may not ferment so you add bicarbonate of soda like two spoons to it, and then add your water pour water to it. make sure the water covers the cassava properly so that none will be strong after doing that you allow it to sit for four days between two to three uh, between three to four days your cassava would have fermented but check on the third day as you can see this is already very fermented so we can go ahead and begin to filter this but first what you have to do to achieve that odorless fufu that i am talking about is to drain the water now without draining the water your cassava is going to have odor and this is what put a lot of people off from eating fufu so drain out this water you're looking at now it's smelling you don't want that you don't want that drain it out and make sure you pour in fresh water to drain out completely you know if you have um, a lot of water at home like i do now pour in lot of water and drain out the smelling water if you don't drain it out properly by the time you make your fufu it's gonna have odor and you don't want that we are talking about odorless fufu here so let's go as you can see i'm adding more water to this yes so that i can achieve that odorless fufu that i have been talking about so you keep draining the water when the dirty water the smelling water is completely drained off you can now go ahead and begin to filter you see when you go out there to the restaurants or in some places you see yeah and they give you fufu you discover that this some of the fufu smells and all that you don't want to have that so i'm teaching you how to achieve odorless fufu at home this is a turn off for most people that is why they don't process cassava at home so if you follow my step you will end up having that mm, nice looking fufu that does not smell so let's go put water into your pot a lot of water get your filter sieve your filter like this a basket uh something not to open so you don't lose a lot of your cassava so you begin to filter like i said this is well fermented like you can see properly fermented so it's not going to be difficult to filter now when you put in the basket mash it properly with your hand mash it with your hand and you see the cassava the food coming out through the filter mash properly and you begin to filter as you can see this is the best way to process your cassava for your fufu something very nice something odorless you can only get that from my channel so you have to subscribe you have to subscribe for update you have to subscribe now most people after fermenting fermenting their cassava they go ahead and begin to blend you know i'm doing it the african way i don't blend i filter if you blend you might end up having lots of chaff you know and you don't want that in your fufu it's going to give your fufu a different kind of color you know and uh, it's not going to be smooth we don't want that so let's do it the african way we know how to do so by the time you finish your fufu you finish making your fufu you see that your fufu is looking so smooth so white and the texture is gonna be mwah, you're gonna love it so when I, when you continue to filter you check if the water is too thick 
already um, if the water is too thick already make sure you get another pot or container that you can use so that uh, you don't end up filtering into a thick water already because this one is filled up it's getting filled up already so i'm going to be changing this uh, pot now bring a different kind of container and continue to filter into it so let's take let's change this now and uh, get a different container and continue like i said please 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 like and subscribe to my channel for updates guess what i'll be teaching you how to make fufu without pounding you don't need a mortar to pound your fufu you don't need the mortar all you need is your pot so let's go with by the time you change your water you discover it becomes so easy to filter again so you continue to filter and get your fufu getting it ready getting it ready Well, I think we are almost done here. We are almost done here. husband love the way I process our cassava like fufu has become his favorite meal at home because the first time I tried making this guess what this man said oh no I don't want it smells like come on you're an evil man so I'm gonna make cassava for you the way I was taught by my mom so I'll make this cassava and you will enjoy it he said okay go ahead bought the cassava processed it like I did now and um by the time I finish making fufu for him, oh goodness, this man can have fufu for breakfast. <laughs> he can have it for lunch and he can have it for dinner. That is how much he, he has come to love my fufu. So we are done filtering. Done filtering. Now what you're going to do is to allow this settle down. Give it two hours and the cassava will settle down. Then you drain out the water. You can see that gently drain out the water so you don't pour out your cassava drain out and look for something to pour in this cassava into so that the end uh, the water can drain out completely completely so i'll show you what i'll be using for mine where i'll be pouring my cassava yeah yeah now i got this from pillowcase Mm-hmm. I found it. You can buy a new pillowcase and use it if you can get a fabric like this because you need something thick that will not bust and you need something strong that will not break. So pour in your cassava into this bag and let the water drain out completely. Let the water drain. And if you can't find a fabric like this, you can use a, what we got as this sack we use back home, like Gary sack. Yes, you can get that, but make sure um, it's uh, open and not too open to leak out your cassava. So as you can see, the water is already draining even before I finish. Pour in all your cassava and guess what? In the next one hour, no, I actually left this overnight, overnight, but in the next one hour, the water must have drained, but not completely. So what I did is to get this to sit overnight and the water drained out completely. little water to this pot I rinse out my remaining cassava I don't want anything wasting <laughs> yeah pour 
going to the bag and then you knot don't tie too hard just knot knot it so it won't be difficult for you to it won't be difficult for you to lose when you are ready to untie your bag now place in a high surface i'm using this uh, metal filter place it on on top something that will you know lift it up while the water is draining out place it on top yes and you allow it to sit i let this sit overnight so by the time i woke up in the morning the water is completely drained so if you enjoy this video please like and subscribe don't forget so you can always get updates from spicy top with omadia mm -hmm. now take a look at this oh my god this is so nice this cassava came out beautiful this is gonna last for two weeks <laughs> yeah maybe two weeks or three weeks if we don't consume all so fast so now what you're gonna do is to get a container uh, a bowl anything you can cover properly put in this cassava and cover put in and cover yes and then you refrigerate just not in the freezer keep it in the fridge you know when you've covered it keep it in the fridge and you can have this anytime you can begin to use your cassava for that odorless nice smelling fufu so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time bye bye spicy top spicy top spicy top spicy top Mm-hmm. Yo, bye. See you.